Welcome back to our series on HubSpot and Power Automate integration. So if you've been hanging out with us through these video series that we've been doing, uh, we have covered a number of different ways that HubSpot, a non-Microsoft tool, and Power Automate can be integrated together, primarily exploring the private apps capability and then connecting into the API through Power Automate. In this video, we're going to show you another different way of being able to integrate these two tools together. And this is going to be by using the HubSpot built-in workflows capabilities. So some of you may be familiar with HubSpot workflows. Uh, and one of the things that you'll find that you can do is you can actually run Power Automate flows from within inside of a HubSpot workflow. So if you're not familiar with HubSpot workflows, that's okay. This is not designed to be a lesson on HubSpot workflows, but I am going to create a new one from scratch. So I am inside of HubSpot right now. And while inside of HubSpot, I'm going to create an entirely new workflow just based from scratch. We could also schedule it if we wanted to, or we could say, hey, we want to run on a specific date. The, the trigger so much is not the important part of this video. We just want to show the fact that you can integrate in Power Automate flows with HubSpot workflows. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a specific date, tell it when to start, and hit next. We're then going to, let's all say no thanks to that. We're then going to have our initial flow design here. And you can set up a trigger to determine when this flow is going to run. And right now I have it on a delay to start on October 12th. But what I can do is once the flow triggers, and really all these other elements don't matter, it's just you need a trigger. And once the trigger runs, then the things with inside the HubSpot workflow are going to execute. But what I want to do is I want to actually go and run a Power Automate flow from within inside of the HubSpot workflow. So this is, again, kind of integrating the two, tool, two tools together, but in a different way. So what we can do is back over in Power Automate, let's say we want to create a new flow. Let's go to My Flows and create a brand new flow. All right, we're going to make this an instant flow. And what we're going to do is the type of instant flow that we want, we're actually going to use the option here called when a HTTP Let's see if it pops up here. We may just skip this. Tell you what, let's actually just skip this and we'll add in the trigger that we want here in a moment. I should have actually done a, an event-based trigger instead, but we're gonna go ahead and skip this, create a brand new flow from scratch. And then the type of trigger that we're going to use is when an HTTP request is received. So I'll type in a little bit of that, but then you should find, again, this is a premium connector option that you must have Power Automate Premium to do. A lot of these HTTP triggers and actions are, but you're gonna find towards the bottom of my screen right here when an HTTP request is received. This is going to essentially let us use like a webhook into HubSpot. And so whenever we have our HubSpot workflow run at some certain point, it's going to trigger this webhook into Power Automate. So we'll select the when an HTTP request is received. And we're going to say who is allowed to run this trigger. We're going to say anyone can run this trigger because I'm going to have even marketing users that are building out workflows. So I want anybody to be able to do it. And you'll notice that right now the HTTP post URL is not available. It's not available until you save. So let's go ahead and give this a proper name. We'll call this our uh, HubSpot um, trigger. Something like that is fine. HubSpot workflow trigger or HubSpot workflow action, whatever you want to call it. All right. And then we'll go ahead and save this. Oh, we actually do need to add at least one other step in here. So you could do really whatever you want. Really more the point of what I want to show today is more about using this action than anything else. So you do need to have at least one action other than the trigger in here. So I'm going to add in another step and just for interest here are for, for time's sake, I'm going to add in a basic compose. The compose is just going to be a basic placeholder here to, to allow us to save the flow. So I'll go ahead and save my flow. Oh, I got to put something in there. Let's just put uh, testing, something like that, and hit save. And that should now allow us to save the flow. Now, once the flow saves, we're going to go look back at our trigger again, and we'll see that there is now available a URL right here that we can copy and bring into our HubSpot workflows. Uh, you may also want to put in some something into the body. I usually bring in something that looks like this in the body just to bring back whatever the objects are from that workflow. But the main thing that we're going to need is we're going to copy this URL. 
We're gonna bring it now over to our HubSpot workflow and we're going to add in another action inside of our HubSpot workflow. So again, the HubSpot workflow here is not really got a lot going on for it, that's okay, but we will go ahead and add in a new step here and then we're going to tell it that we want to send a webhook. Send a webhook right here. And this webhook that we're gonna be sending is to Power Automate to run this secondary flow with inside of Microsoft's ecosystem that can do any number of things. So if there's something that HubSpot can't do with their workflows, you could actually go run a Power Automate workflow that maybe has interconnectivity into things that HubSpot can't do. So we're gonna go ahead and select that we wanna send a webhook. And then what we'll tell it over inside of the webhook section is we're gonna tell it that we want to be able to run this workflow and we wanna be able to specifically tell what kind of method that we wanna use. I'm double checking really quickly here on the side to make sure I give you the right method for this example. So let me double check that really fast here. All right, we wanna post action. So the method that we wanna use here is we wanna send a request from HubSpot that includes the data that HubSpot has collected as well. So you could pass in a list, you could pass in any information from HubSpot in the Power Automate here. So we're gonna say we wanna do a post and then the URL that we copied earlier, remember the URL that was at the top of our Power Automate flow right here? We're gonna copy that and paste it into the webhook URL. That is it, that's all we have to do. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring in across the contact information from HubSpot into Power Automate, and then we can start to use the information that HubSpot sends to Power Automate and use it in all sorts of different ways within inside of Power, Power Automate, excuse me. So lots of really good things here. We would then review and publish this HubSpot workflow. We would then go back over to our Power Automate workflow, and this workflow will only run whenever HubSpot tells it to run using that webhook option that we showed just a moment ago. So again, this is just a different way of connecting the two applications together, that being HubSpot and Power Automate. Hopefully you got something really neat out of this because again, this opens a whole world of things that you can do with inside of HubSpot if you know that you can also run Power Automate flows from it as well. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure you like and subscribe our videos to continue to, continue to get more information like this. Hope you liked today's video and look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thank you so much.